Okay, love. Okay. There you go. Well, why don't you get a shot down in here? Okay, we got water. Got the other pipe. Okay, so what are you doing? So there's, we're out in the front yard today. We've got three pipes out here. One is a soaker for her roses that she's showed you how to prune those. One is water for our two fruit trees we have out here. The other is for this front grass. And that's what we've cut into out here. We didn't, obviously, didn't show digging and stuff. But we got one of these for splicing in that is expandable. They sell them at Lowe's and Home Depot both. They come in different sizes. This is a three quarter inch, which is what our, our branch lines are on our sprinkler system. So we've glued a T to it. We've primed all the ends. We're gonna stick it down in there with this T down this way. And then this will allow us to get in there and get a nice good fit. Glue it onto that one. We've got a length of pipe to run up because we need a head over here. When right, they did the sprinklers, died. I told them it needed a head. They said, no, it doesn't. And I always have a dry spot and we're not even in the hottest part of summer yet. And it's already getting crunchy over there. So we're going to put in our own sprinkler head. We're using these big six inch pop-ups. Um, I've been using fours and we keep having problems with getting damage and stuff. Uh, we cut the grass a little bit long. So I'm going to try this one over here just to see. They're a little more money, but uh, I'm going to give it a shot. We're using uh, Rainbird nozzles on everything. Most of the rest of my bodies, I think, are uh, K-Rain. This is a Rainbird one I just got online. And uh, we'll hook it to the funny pipe when we get down to that end. So I'm going to crawl down in this hole. When we cut the pipe, we did get some drainage. That's where the water came from. I've cleaned it all out. Okay, do you need to prime those? Yeah, I'm going to prime those and glue okay. this. So that's what's going on. Okay. <sighs> How can I be that much short? Well. I thought it was pretty long. Yep. All right. So. This is why we're team klutzy. Yeah, why would we measure anything? It looked well, long I, enough. I thought I had it right. Apparently I didn't. Okay, so do you have a coupling over there? I have a coupler right here. Okay, coupler. Coupler, coupling. So I can glue a piece of this onto the one that's in the ground.
though, is that if you'd taken less pipe out. I should have cut a smaller piece of pipe out, apparently. Okay. I don't that's... know where I went wrong. Okay. Um, I'll be quite honest, it's really hot out here. And, and I may not be straight. thinking 100%. Well, and you biffed it yesterday on the pavement, so you're a little sore. I may need you to go push on this pipe. I, <coughs> I need you to push on this pipe, Rob. Just grab the whole thing and kind of lift it up and twist and push. Push hard. Put the camera down. Use both hands. Okay. Now I'm huffing and puffing. But that's... Looks like... Yeah, you can see how dry crunchy, this was. There's the crunchy one. <laughs> this whole yeah. Sit down, try to catch my breath a little bit.
so that elbow has threads on one side for the soaker hose attachment. No. No? Not for a soaker hose. You for keep the, calling it a soaker hose. It's not the, a soaker okay, hose. Okay, let me get it. Let me get it. It's the bunny pipe. Yes. Okay. So that's for the bunny pipe. So that will attach there. Okay. And then we'll run funny pipe the last few feet. Okay. And we do that so that we can move the sprinkler head up and down and okay. things like that. All right. So we'll go ahead and we'll finish. Okay. You're going to attach that? Yeah, I'm going okay. to. That slid back off. I don't know if you caught that, and I slid it back on. Oh, okay. it takes it a couple seconds to kind of set up. All right. A couple of minutes to get really hard. Okay. Reach over there and hand me that piece of, of bunny pipe. Handing you the piece of bunny pipe. So you've done the same thing where you put the tape, the white tape around Teflon the... Teflon tape on the threads, yep. Right, and that just pushes in. Okay. And there's no way I could push that in, so it takes some muscle. And this has been sitting out here in the sun, so it's kind of soft and a little bit easier. Ah. And it's still not super easy. <laughs> So, if you That's want to come looks. over here. Okay. Get you up. All right, so there's the sprinkler head going along. It looks like it's fall in the hole. Something like that. And go back over there where I told you to, please. But I was doing something. And it works. All right, I'm going to come over here real quick. I'm sure that this isn't leaking. I got a sprinkler on me. So. You got a sprinkler on your butt. You hurry. <laughs> I'm trying to. Please. Bob? I am. Okay. Got it. No leaks. Cool. All right, that's how you do that.
put this extra sprinkler head in. Thanks for watching.